big bounce gonna come from Bloodbridge as he has an open shot. He's not gonna miss that opportunity. Not at all. That is a quick set that one down the a tunnel. Good slap coming out. And this is where you're gonna see this boosting race come out. Tango gonna be leading the charge here, but goalie's coming in, but Strem doesn't care. He's gonna put that one away. It off into the pocket where it's a rebound uh, going to YouTube. YouTube finding Zach W. Zach to Andy W. And giving them a lot of trouble there. And the goal for their Brawling coming from both sides. The big boosting is what you're going to see coming from both these teams. The Seable brings this one up and puts it right in. Seven to M, who just loses it to Andy now. Yeah, Andy with the, the nice little slap back all the way down to their side as they're looking at an open net oh. themselves and not going to make any mistake. Nothing. I'm just going to be quiet and watch. Rock, paper, as we're going to join it. You're going to be quiet and watch. I was going to cast it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what they're doing here with under five minutes left to go in this first round after that uh, intermission. But going in now on a mission, it's Zach W. Finally gets the go break like we saw. Uh, sometimes you can get a little off rhythm, so it's, it's good for Infinite. They're just able to reset, maybe set themselves up for one more, but no way. Loveridge in the way, makes that play. Oh, as it ends up in the other side, but that boost from Infinite Whoa. is going to be there. Sealable gonna get that, but just misses off the gold strip. Bitsky now looking at the nice. back and hits the Sealable's hand. Perlis are more than willing to play that slow game also and back pass it, so uh, every goal is gonna be very important now. This one, maybe, indeed, will go in. Man, full. Hitting off some obstacles there as it's not able to get clear, but that good boost gonna come up from Kangarellas. Oh, perfect, too. Sealable getting that shot. Sorry, that was Strip Bitsky as he takes that back. That's going on through, maybe even for a. Uh, Breakaway goal here with just one in the goal. Two on one, gets it done. Andy W, first couple points in round two for Infinite. Get back there. Into the hands of Mad Man's gonna have a lot of space to play with. And he's gonna bring that one to Loverage. Loverage sending that down to Sealable. Sealable able to put that one in on YouTube. YouTube sees Zach wide open over the corner there. Zach gonna be looking to see if he can get that cross pass, but nothing much gonna be happening as he goes up the pole and puts that one beautifully behind that goalie there. With that good boost coming out from Infinite. But again, just too fast to handle that. Andy, though, gonna get that one to Palace. Palace is gonna put that one in the bottom, take that 6 to 2 lead. He's able to get it out of their end, but that boost gonna come in more than fine. But the goalie stunned out, so not able to get that. Andy gonna take this one over to the hands of Palace. Oh. Palace isn't gonna make any mistakes. A little bit of the bleeding and find themselves a good scoring opportunity here if they can. Strem able to pretty much nice. watch this up as he gets that pass coming from Steelable Bank. But still, Strem just in the right place, right time, and looking for a dime over to Loveridge. Right back to Strem, and Strem will sling that one in, taking the uh, seven point off on Kangaroos now, starting to build some steam. So right there, they want to score if they can, they do. There's a couple more and back up by three, so at least have that, that little buffer playing the patient game, but Kango's not really leaving them much quarter as going in there for a couple more. It's Andy W's 12 to seven now for Infinite. Trying to come back, feeling the heat from this a nice Infinite second round. Just after that first loss, they're really looking great in round two with one more pass though from Kangorilla, so they're not dead yet. They bring it right. Going for this shot, just maybe a little bit off the mark, but recovered here from Andy oh. himself as he ducks, gets that dunk and puts it right on in. Third round. Always what you want to kind of see from these kind of games is 15 seconds oh, nice. are left. And that's going to do it for the game as we are going to... Good man defense coming from Infinite as Mad now coming in. He's going uh -oh. to do some spinning around into the hands of Loveridge. Loveridge going to get that wow. to Strap and Strap going to put that one in. Playing this close triangle down midfield. Now they're going to get themselves working up as they're going to fight it into the hands of Strap. Strap nice. going to be able to take that one low. Good goal coming from Strap. Great. Uh so again, we see another one of those dings that just costing maybe a goal there, despite the otherwise good look, but look at that one quickly on that approach. And uh, maybe, in I feel like super important for Infinite uh, in terms of just their momentum. And likewise for Kangos, because there they go again. Sealable bag this time with eight. And that's what I mentioned, because now, despite the fact there's a lot of t they've gotten on some of these bounces, not only on shots, but just the passes. All right there though, won't get past anyone except for the open goal for Sealable again. That is 10. Need to try and, and roll this one over and go for another goal. Maybe a rebound will go to Loveridge and he taps it in and that is a dozen. And right now Kangorilla's loving their momentum. You kind of, you, you feel it in the air, that momentum shifting. And right now it's hard in the favor of Kangorilla's. Going in for first two points, however, finally uh, is going to be Palace assisted by Zach. Cleared out. 
going to the other side, but stunned out from Palace as this shot's Ooh. gonna go oh. and it makes itself in. Very timely. Kango's doing exactly what they need to do. They wasted so much time there, right there. Stram, one more goal, and I mean, icing this finally.
Hello everybody, welcome to VR Master League. This is the second of our evening games tonight, and our, the second of the games that Nebula's had tonight, but, uh, after about an hour break. So it will be Instinct versus Nebula here tonight. Uh, I'm Palador, going to be joined by Caption, who may or may not be fiddling with headsets and twitches and other things like that. Not physical twitches, don't worry, he's healthy, I think. But, maybe. But how you doing, Caption? I am doing great, like always, and a great night, a couple of matches back-to-back, -back, if, I'm, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, we have this one here, Instinct versus Nebula, and then about, in about half an hour or so, it's uh, Flare versus Infinite, and also Spaghetti and uh, Legends starting at about the same time, so. Good. Two actually really good games, uh, Infinite and Flare. Uh, really All right. excited to see those two. They've been really back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll be a fun game. I just just messing the start right now. If any of you eight players in this game right now happen to listen to this VOD afterwards, how come? How come all eight of you are in here and the casters were last? I'm gonna start poking you guys more. I already posted in the captain's channel. You invite us early. Pretty please. <laughs> pretty pretty please. I beg of you. Invite us early once you get the lobbies open, because there's setup time there. But nonetheless, all right. We're not salty about it. I'm not salty. I'm just saying so. <laughs> Weeth would like to start us earlier. Yeah. Not just because, yeah, there's a setup time for casters, at least a few minutes once you get into the game sometimes. And then, especially when we have uh, multiple games scheduled in a row, <clears throat> it's good uh, for keeping us on schedule to at least get us in there like five minutes before the start time or so, if possible. But with that said and done, I'm moving on because I'm excited for these matches tonight. Got, again, a pair of good ones. Uh, I'm not sure if that Legends game and Spaghetti will be able to be casted, unfortunately, unless another cameraman steps in pronto. But, uh, yeah, here we go, then. We'll be launching off Instinct Nebula. Uh, Instinct over on, oh, on the shot. It's going to be Nebula. Blue team, Kaznas gets the first three. That's a good start for them. And Kaznas almost taking that Comet approach as he goes for that one from long range, scoring that three points really early into this match. Good boosting coming out from Team Nebula. And Nebula coming hot off that match from uh, against Nova, I should say. They unfortunately weren't able to close out that victory against them. It was a two-round victory to Nova. Uh, the end differential wasn't too bad at all, but I think like nine points or something like that. But uh, still trying to rebound now for, for them as they go up against what is a very challenging team in Instinct. And look at that shot, Nebula. Oh, wow. They are coming in really hot. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's two quick fire points and what a shot coming out from Sweet Tooth. Uh, reading that bounce off the bottom trench to perfection as he gets it right down in the middle and bouncing right into the middle of the goal. Bears mentioning too, Sweet Tooth, uh, again, despite the, the loss against Nova just an hour or so ago, uh, Sweet Tooth was uh, piling on the points that they did score for Nebula. It was A lot of that was Sweet Tooth, so coming back here with some fire. And some good passing now coming from Instinct but just maybe clipping a little bit there. Late Toe is going to try to take that one up and get that cleared. That's exactly what's going to happen as the boosts do come in. Instantly challenge. Going to have a pass going back down to Spank. Spank's going to put that up, but again, Kaznas sitting in that middle going to be able to steal that and get that pass over to Chocolate. Some good passing going on now. Just as I say that, it gets knocked loose, but maybe right back into the hands. Sweet Tooth is in the area. Kanamara takes it over, goes to the pocket now. Uh, so far, I, I was trying to mention Instinct earlier before they started Nebula started piling on points, but Instinct's been uh, a great team overall, but admittedly on a bit of a skid, but through not necessarily fault of their own as this, uh, this one gets collected. And I'll finish that later. And a good pass coming, and Kavici off that pass is going to take that one down to the bottom of the goal. Good placement on the shot, but even better placement on the field as he sits on that post wide open. So Kavici does get that one through, and to finish my earlier sentence, the thing is for Instinct, in weeks three and four, they went up against Joker, Kangarillas, Infinite, and Illuminati. Uh, that, that is about as uh, hellish of a two weeks as you can possibly have in this league. Uh, so unfortunately, they, they kind of went on a little skid because of that. But we, we still know that record is misleading. And they're a really good team capable of passing plays like that. And that's what really bought them that early success. That's why uh, they were going up against teams like Joker, Kang, Illumin, and Infinite because they opened up those first couple weeks just with some of the uh, best like team play and passing play and, and shots in the league. Yeah, and uh, Instinct right now really starting to pile up these two-pointers as they're 
starting to make their comeback here. Down by six early on, but a couple minutes later, they're only down by two. If they keep this up, they can make this game very interesting. Maybe some trading goals coming out. Maybe, but here it goes. Uh, instinct in position, maybe. But no, it will be a Nebula there in the bubble. Couple players trying to deny, but now maybe getting stuck. So we'll see what Nebula does here on offense. Yeah, it looks like Nebula is just going to get <laughs> stunned out by Spank. Spank will be looking across for Kamara, but just out of his hands as the disc travels down. But recovered here, now going to be in the hands of Cruzen as he's waiting in the backfield. Cruising to send that one again over to Post and Kavici scoring six points all on his own to get his team all tied up there goes to the top of the goal. So on one end you have Sweet Tooth for Nebula putting in a bunch of buckets, but then on the other end, Kavici showing that he is not just a goalie and certainly even less so this season uh, just because you have a guy like Cruzen in there who can also take some of that defensive uh, pressure off of Kavici. So Kavici has been able to really open up uh, his scoring potential on the offensive line uh, as of this season. As you say that, Kamara coming in for a great steal. And we're going to see that shot, but just missed. But Kavici coming in just a little bit overkill on that. A three, but the goalie is in net as he's going to try to get that one cleared. And just past Cruz, and it goes as it ends up back in the hand of Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth now going to take that one down. And going for the play here, as Chocolate had a grab, but got stunned off that leech. So good job by Instinct's players, but a quick slap will just reach the hands once more of Kaznaz. And... Here we go back again for a reset. Good boot or pass, sorry, from Kaznas over to Late Toast. Late Toast is going to be looking for that cross pass. Just a little bit too much on that as it just ends up getting past Kaznas. But a slap down from Hanmara means that Nebula can recover, but Spank coming in with the great steal as he's going to try to mimic one of these shots at his own, but not going to fall. But into the hands of Cruzen. Cruzen's going to do a little bit of a spin there and get that one in. What a slick move that was. That was just dirty right there to go up now by two points for Instinct. So Cruzen now on the board and doing so with style. Cruzen getting that two points with an exclamation mark on it. He's going to be able to get them in the lead now. Up by two points. A comeback all the way 6 nothing. Now 8-6. Eight, eight unanswered points coming from Instinct. Nebula, though, looking to make that game tied as they're going to start their passing up. Sweet Tooth, though, going to get stunned out as he... Yet, it just tried to clear. Not a lot happening there as that clear is going to come out, but Kaznaz is going to be in the way of that. Kaznaz trying to get that over to Chocolate, but hits off the player oh. of a, a uh, Instinct player there. Chocolate is now melted at the moment, so Kaznaz is going to have to roll this up here. Three on four for their team. See what they opt to do. Uh, that's just going to be cut off by Kanamara. Chocolate is now officially out, out of the game, as now going in for that play. Open three, maybe, but the overshoot will at least delay them a moment, but not for too long. But still, the shot now too strong. Yeah, as these shots coming out, a couple misses coming here from from Instinct, and another one. Kavici though, another miss off the post. Oh boy! Another miss coming out from Instinct. And Chocolate's able back. To find this goal, <laughs> and Chocolate comes back all at the same time. That's right. You, and you heard Instinct, they were kind of laughing at themselves for, for some of those missed shots there. They'll still stay on offense, and it's back to a 4v4. No restart required, no shot acquired. Right now, it's back to Chocolate, fresh off the crash, and ref, uh, just fresh into the uh, the launch here, I'm trying to recollect off these stacks. We know how fast they are. Oh, that shot has a good chance, and it will go for Spank! What was that? That's could, all it takes, you know, sometimes if it's not working from five meters away, why not add another 40 meters? Try to hit that one off the bounce, and that's what Spank does. 45 meters away, gets it right off the bounce. What a great shot if it was on purpose. I don't think we'll ever know, but great shot nonetheless coming from Spank. Yeah, what, what a shot, especially after that. Uh, th those missed plays over there, those missed shots earlier on. Felt like uh, they couldn't hit the goal if it wasn't, you know, an ocean oceans uh, with but that one just finding the smallest of angles from deep and uh, very impressive to come back down the shot maybe buying them some momentum here as they get back and the, it'll help them forget the mistakes of the past as they go pass for the train on uh, Kanamara chaos making it rain 13 to 6. Yeah, Kanamara finding the ankle of his teammate uh, getting a nice cup of spins almost looking like a, a tornado out there and he does rain terror as he gets that shot going to the bottom of the goal. And some royalty is going to go to Joker's way, I suppose, after that play. Uh, Nebula here, despite what was, you know, a good chance to uh, come back there. And, you know, they started off around really hot. 
but starting to fall behind and only two minutes left to make up for it. And now we're gonna get this movement coming out from instant cruising, taking that one up to the top, cruising into the goal. And that will be 15 to six here, cruising up to four points for his team. But as you can see, everyone really contributing uh, all across the point totals for Instinct. And as I said, they are a good collective team. It's n never really one person. Typically, I, I say that uh, even though Kanemaru had some insane matches last week, from what I recall. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, it's just everyone contributing to the efforts. And those passing. Uh, plays trying to come out here for Team Instinct, but Nebula just really, really crossing up all their passing lanes. Not a lot of good passes available. Uh, as we see Cruzen trying to take this one downfield as he gets a pass going off the Spank. Spank looking for another option, Kanmara. Going to be able to receive that. Kanmara, though, instantly done, but Spank just maybe missing a little bit off the bottom there. Wide open chance, one-on-one -on -one with goalie. He's going to end up back in the hands of Kanmara, and Kanmara is going to put it right in the top of that goal. So that was some great passing play all the way down the floor, just until the finish, couldn't quite get it, but luckily, maybe not so luckily, but just got the disc back and had the concentration to finish it the second time around. So we're winding down this uh, first round here, there's 35 seconds left, 17 to six, Instinct looking to uh, build back again after I mentioned those just monster weeks that they had to go against uh, essentially the, all of the top four teams in the league, looking to build themselves back into the, the good standings of the public eye. I mean, we, we know they're a great team. Like I said, I think record-wise might be a little misleading because of those tough weeks, but right here they're looking to close this one out. Nebula trying to stop it. Will be in the goal there. Can't quite get the shots. Rebound, one more chance here. Kanemara looking for the play and great save out of Chocolate's way. Just to end this round in good fashion for them. <laughs> Chocolate gonna be more than impressed with himself after that great grab coming off of Kanemara's shot. Kind of dance around the floor there for a second. Yeah, uh, for Nebula, they're, they're a team who likes those little celebrations. They do the, the post-game, uh, post-match handshakes and the, the Nebula, they call it, where they, they get all these uh, all the players together and they do kind of a crab walk across the ceiling. Pretty right. pretty fun team to watch, and uh, especially those post-game celebrations. Always love to see them. And we had a... Really nice game coming out here, obviously, starting 6 nothing with a couple of really nice threes, like all within one minute coming from Nebula, but just at the end, not able to strap a, co a couple more goals together and uh, letting uh, Instinct really get their momentum built up and really let them take off. Yeah, Instinct definitely finding those instincts after a while. It se seemed like they got a little bit, just a little bit in a disarray, but they, they got the, themselves together and they just started piling those points on, of course. Part of that being ignited, no doubt, by that uh, that shot from Spank from deep, but uh, really just much more the instinct, I guess, we know, uh, we expected to see. Uh, for Nebula, though, got to hand it to them, too, because still their speed is really good. They had some nice defensive plays in there in the brawls. Uh, and <clears throat> I know going into the end of the, the match versus Nova, I was kind of mentioning that is if the, the only thing that really were... Uh, that was acting as their downfall, maybe it was just the passes not connecting as much versus Nova, uh, but they're looking to solve for that here against Instinct. And uh, the second round, going to be a determining factor in that. We'll see what, what happens as Kaznaz gets this back pass. Kaznaz is going to be looking back over for his teammate Sweet Tooth there. Sweet Tooth there, just not going to be able to get that. Uh -oh. Kanmara going around the pull, and Kanmara putting it down in the bottom of the goal. Man, right, right down and around. Doing all kinds of moves to finally find that goal. Uh, yeah, more more of the the style that we saw. I think earlier it was Cruzen, I think, who had a bit of a spinny play into the goal, but that was more, I think, physical than uh, stick rotation. That that case, that was more on the stick end of things. But you know, trying to shake a stick here at Nebula as they go for those first couple points, and Nebula right now trying to make sure they don't turn this over here on offense. And Nebula really close proximity passing as they. They maybe just get a little bit of a mishandle on that. Gonna end up back in the hands of Spank. Spank's oh, gonna again. go for another bounce shot. And he might just hit it, and he sure does. What a shot coming up from Spank. Almost n just not being able to miss reading these bounces perfectly. I think maybe answering the question earlier on whether <laughs> those angles were on purpose, that was quite similar from, from the floor right there. Shot is uh, completely locked on right now for Spank. 
bank. Maybe he's stealing a trick from Soldier 76 Super. He's just not missing anything. But this pass going to be go over to Late Toast. And a good pass on the incoming Chocolate. And Chocolate going to get it back. But gonna not before he gets stunned out, cruising now. Going to be looking to get this one out. And that's where it's going to go over to the bow tie. Just hitting off the little bit of bow tie that was there. Chocolate with the recovery. Going to send that one across to Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth oh. getting that dunk. But just missing the goal off the top. Tough miss there. The goalie had dive and gave him the angle. But it was a tough one. Now Sweet Tooth has been pretty good on offense here throughout the weeks. And uh, tonight, as much as anything, across the two matches, trying to get the disc back. But Instinct will sling it to the side wall, so still anyone's grab. But they're going to get there about the same time. Katamara and Kaznaz. Kaz gets the worst end of that as Katamara twirls and tries to find an assist perhaps towards the goal area. And a big dunk coming from Kavici as it gets back in the hands of Katamara. And he's just going to swing it right down to the bottom once again. One-on-one -on -one against that goalie off the shield. A beautiful job there by Katamara. Uh, a lot of these instinct players now just really showing off their craftiness, not only on some of these bounce shots and these long shots, but uh, once they work it into the bubble, just incorporating those tricky moves that can help throw off the defenses. And instinct showing that they want another crack at this week against all top four players. This bank's going to get that disc now and put it exactly where Conmar has done all game, just right down in the five hole on that goalie. A yeah, good goal there, assisted from deep by Kanamara over to Spank. So, <clears throat> sorry, Spank going back now for uh, what, eight points, tied with Kanamara, both of them with eight apiece leading their team. So, like I said, the good team play is really a, a huge factor here for Instinct. Nebula looking for a, a rollout now and trying to find much of the same. And yeah, Nebula uh, opting to go a little bit closer in their end, trying to start it down their end and work themselves up, and they look to do that, but Kanamara and his partner's boost just coming in really fast as Kamara is going to be able to get that clear out before he gets stunned. But a boost from Nebula is going to come in to take that away and maybe look to get another passing play going. Maybe even just going for a deep shot, uh, kind of similar to Spank there. Nothing else, but it will be Kavichi getting there first with enough time to at least sling it out, but not a accurate clear, just forcing that out of his hands fast. So Kaznaz recollects, looking for the dish off and some good positioning here now from Nebula. Oh, but tough on that, that catch, so... We'll deny them at least that first opportunity. Yeah, another clear opportunity coming out and just not quite able to make it once again as a, maybe a pass or just a, a nice dump comes in from Nebula, but into the hands of uh, Cruzen. But Kaznaz going to take this one away. Kaznaz looking to break that one out with that cross pass, but it's going to be stopped. And it's going to go back into the hands of Cruzen as he looks to get this one out again. Going to be in the hands of Spank. Spank! Going to be going again, but just opting to pass this one over. But that bounce not going to be able to find Kamara. Kamara alone up here at the pocket for a little bit. Kaznaz trying to contest. Oh, but not getting any inch there. Just uh, covered completely by Kaznaz. This might enable a shot here off this quick boost. Sweet Tooth. Oh, couldn't get it through. It was a good look again here. But those are the ones that are going to be very tough because uh, of how quick otherwise Instinct is at getting back on defense. Still a chance, but... Uh, looks like it'll be tapped out, and if nothing else, I'll just have to try and play this one the best they can off of some scramble defense. There's a defense there coming in. And the offense instead from Kaznaz. <laughs> Someone <laughs> yelling about it. <laughs> some bounces coming out from the from the offense there. Maybe a couple of lucky bounces cruising, trying to get that one cleared out or just tapped out for his team, but kept hitting it off those uh, kind of obstacles that are around the bubble. Uh, unfortunate there is it ends up back in the hands of Nebula as they're able to come away with two. And Instinct not happy about it, over yelling uh, in my ear a little bit, but that was entertaining. Uh, maybe not as much for Instinct, but hey, for Nebula, they're going to go in for another one. There's Kaznaz here again with a goal, so that's two in a row in, what, about uh, 30 seconds of play between and, the two. Uh, again, uh, another maybe just a little boop off the... Uh, off of obstacles there as it hits off Bowtie and Kamara just not able to get that one up allowing uh, Nebula to get down develop their play and Kaznaz with a nice fake shot getting cruising out of his spot and then taking it. See if they can get it back again they do now we see that redirect what a nice redirect as at that from Sweet Tooth and Chocolate but has it grabbed out with a good hands from Spank but that was some uh, just brilliant stack work if that is such a phrase from the Nebula boys and seeing if they can get back into the goal area for maybe another shot. Nebula 
looking like they just maybe held on to this for a little bit too long in that second when they were in the tunnel. But it looks oh, like watch they're going to try to break out, but that boost from Nebula going to be coming in. Sweet Tooth now looking over for his team, but Late Toast not going to be the one moving up there as it ends up in the hand of Kanmara. Kanmara going to be looking maybe for a shot here, or actually a pass at him. See that gentleman behind the Ooh. tunnel, and he's going to go for a pass himself, but just out of the hands of Cruz, and going to be able to recover this Cruz, and now going to be sending that one over, but again, just out of the hands of his teammate. Uh, several several passes in a row now that are just a little bit off for instinct and I think no doubt pressured by the last couple minutes because of Nebula's speed. Now coming in with all kinds of whines and twirls will be denied by Kaz as he hurls it into the wedge. Great save by Kaz and Nebula now a chance again at offense but no because Cruzen is there. Gonna look for that uh, clear that actually fortunately bounces into the hands of his offense and Spank yet another deep three. Spank once again uh, might might have to look at him after this game because he just hasn't he hasn't missed a shot and they've almost been all dead center in the middle of that goal there great great shooting coming up from spank all game it doesn't matter how he shoots it straight on the goal or bouncing from an angle he can't see he'll make anything right now yeah, making a lemonade out of lemons I, I mean i kind of mentioned the passes from instinct they were starting to, to collapse a little bit over the last couple minutes as that shot just goes over the hands of the defense but I think a lot of that, that those bad passes were just because uh, Nebula has been so quick. You saw them being bothered so much. That one with a touch just off the goal post. But here comes the stack impending and trying to be defending his late toast and chocolate. And Kaznaz actually gets a grab and uh, sends it to the pocket. A great, ca uh, great catch from Kaznaz there and a great block from Cruzen as he's able to get that now. But just out of the hands of Kanmara as he can't get up to that height. But Kanmara going to be able to recover this one as Sweet Tooth challenges him right away. But Kanmara looking now for that shot off the backboard and he isn't going to miss. Great shot coming up from Kanmara. Man, that, that shot alone there. Three point just as well outside the outer bubble. Um, could be the sealant on this one. Uh, just... Those ones are especially hurtful and, and this late in the game with 90 seconds left. Instinct looking to claim the two round win, but Nebula, you know, they're not gonna go down without a fight. Nebula goes back here with some close to home passing. Just gonna miss off a little bit here and Kamara's gonna be able to recover this. Looking for a shot of his own, but almost pressured by the defense there. Kavichi though, trying to get that pass with just out of his hands, he's able to recover that one. Try to send that one right back up. It finds the hands of Spank. Spank gonna be looking for an opportunity. He's gonna put it down low on Kaznaz. Crafty move there by Spank too. Uh, just if you're following his head movement and his eyes, it kind of looked like he was maybe coming into the goal first, uh, looking for maybe a pass, and then he kind of just underhand flinged it, but you wouldn't be able to tell where he was intending to shoot until that went through. Uh, you know, eye eyeing the goalie down while he actually shot below him. Maybe a little bit of mind games coming from Spank. That's exactly what it is. Not fully trying to figure out where he's going, but nothing happening there. As Kaznaz now looks to break that one out, but just hits the top. It's like, who's going to come out? Spank once again going for a shot. He isn't going to miss. He's just going to take it, and he's going to get that one right into the goal. That is a bad, bad man. Tonight especially. He's just absolutely on fire. Dead eye. Talking about Overwatch ults. Right now, definitely McCree as well. Every Everything for uh, Spank is just going in. Yeah, I think, I think Spank might be the new Overwatch 2 character as he can't miss anything right now. Well, he can be my Huckleberry any day. I don't know. Anyway, it's a 20 to 4 win here for Instinct. Uh, just behind that uh, strong effort from Spank, as we mentioned. And. Bank being the big giveaway here is I, I don't actually know if he missed a single shot that game. Every three I seen him take, I seen him make. Oh no, I just lost my stats before I put Ah anyway. On the that note though, I may have confirmation that it will be adjusted to best of three next patch. The rule set that is. Uh, so yeah, anyway, did you catch uh Actually, what time? Okay, we have a few minutes. Did you catch uh, any of the scores, or shall we just say Spank by default MVP? <laughs> I, I think we can safely assume Spank by default MVP. Uh, I'm pretty sure a Spank was 16. I think Kanmara might have had 13. If I'm mistaken, those are the only two I can remember off the top of my head. There's maybe have been five or six. 
or I could be butchering score lines completely, and I will be made fun of in the near future for it. Maybe. The world will never know. I was kind of mesmerized by the, the crabbing on the wall there, but... All right, well, with that said and done, that's a victory as we go here quick to the score screen and finally give you the highlights. I stayed on the main gameplay just because I wanted to see, uh, you know, the post-game action. Yep. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, it was a 17-6 to first round from Instinct and then 20-4 to in the second for them. <clears throat> um, Nebula, I think, again, just... Still, just like with the Nova game, very good defense, uh, great stacking and brawling and things like that. But Instinct, no doubt a tough team. I mean, no shame in losing to them at all. Uh, they were just on fire and were playing pretty much at, at their best and kind of like they did in those you know first couple weeks of the season, uh, starting to shine again here. Yeah, for sure. And uh, again, uh, Nebula maybe just missing a couple of their opportunities. Uh, and especially in that second game there, you've seen them have a couple of open threes and just not able to take advantage, unfortunately. Yeah, and that'll always happen from time to time. You know, it can't always be on fire uh, as Spank was, but yeah. It'll happen. Uh, for Nebula, though, I mean, still a really good team. You know, great team, especially, you know, for a new roster as they are. I mean, they'll fall off uh, tonight's two losses. Uh, they'll go to five and seven, so they were, you know, right there evened up right before this night began. So it's, you know, a tough week for them, tough weekend, but not anything that they can't and won't recover from, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. I think uh, many teams should be able to, you know, especially at this caliber, I think um, easily able to recover if they just need to get their head up, get some scrims in, get a couple more games going, you know, things start falling your way and then all of a sudden things might not. But I think Nebula will uh, come out clean for next week.
welcome right back to VR Master League. This is time uh, for our, I guess you'd call it main event. I mean, this is an exciting match I know we have in store for us today between Infinite and Flare. Two teams at the top of their games uh, coming in here. Pretty hot overall. Now, uh, each team eating a loss or two in the last week. But again, tough games, close games. Uh, bo both these teams last weekend, last Sunday, had lost a game to Joker. But other than that, I mean, you have a uh, Flair here coming in 7-5 and five, uh, record-wise, 1240 MMR. Uh, four out of six wins, or four four wins out of, the, out of their last six games. They get all tongue-tied up here. But uh, including wins against Illuminati and Kangorillas, which were obviously huge games for Flair to kind of really put them on the map for Season 1 in particular. Uh, and... Over on Infinite's side, it's uh, 1260 MMR with a 6-5 and five record, and they had been on a five-game winning streak until last week where they had very close matches but ultimately losses against Kangorillas and Joker. Uh, but yeah, so hello everyone again. I'm Palador, and Caption is in here joining me. So uh, what's your feelings about this particular matchup? Uh, from what I know from almost most meetings these guys have, um, it's always close games, and I mean... You know, I think, I think uh, skill-wise and like not just skill, but like assets of what the players are able to do, it's very, very close and very similar. Um, you know, they all both have really good shooters on their team. They both have, I, I want to say athleticism on their team. By that, I just mean you know, the little camera control and spinny kind of thing, and just great passing and boosting for both teams. I'm just excited to see this game. Same here. So we have Infinite on the left side, orange side, Andy W, Zach W, Palace, and YouTube.com. For Flair on blue, it's Voodoo, Grumpiest Groom, Chrome Platypus, and Game, as uh, will be Chrome here taking it first and dishing it just deep into the back. And uh, right to the shield there. Palace is going to be able to recover that game now. Going to be looking to see what he can do. He's going to go off the top, try to get that one down to the bottom, but it's just going to miss off the side as it goes back into the hands here of Flair, Flair going to be able to reset that one back down to Grumpy. But a player going to be right challenging him, and Grumpy going to be able to get that one to Voodoo. Voodoo right down to Chrome, and Chrome's going to bring that one in on YouTube and score. Good start there. Some great passing. Long range ones didn't matter. They found the mark. You know, left open enough there. You can see on that, that treetop, cloud, whatever you call it. I know we were going through the Discord the other day. People discussing what to call what. <laughs> Some of these islands, uh, have more names than others, but nonetheless, that was nice passing plays from Flair to open this one. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of a, a misplay there off that starting just, but going to be able to get that right back, and now Palace going to be looking to see what he can do. He's going to send that one all the way down over to his hand of Andy there. Andy now almost one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, but game coming in perfectly in that last second and taking it away from him. Nice job there by Game. Uh, Andy saw him. He, he knew he was coming, but just maybe misjudged the speed of Game just slightly enough for uh, him to enable him to get that disc back. And uh, here, even once again, as he gets it to Chrome. Chrome now looking to spring this one up slowly as well. Not a lot of pressure coming in, but as I say that, Infinite able to close in straight over to Grumpy. Grumpy now going to be able to get that one to the hands of Voodoo. Voodoo going to be looking across, Whoa. and Chrome getting that one in for the dunk. This is why Flair is so dangerous. When they are on point with their passing, which for these first couple of minutes they really have been, uh, they can contest and compete with any team in the league as far as passing is concerned. Uh, of course, that is a question is can they sustain that? Can they come out with that for a full two or three rounds? When they do, they win and they upset and they frankly dominate as that one again so here's a 7-0 start for flair speaking of domination they're looking to make their proclamation that they have arrived here in season one for real yeah, and a, a great play coming up from uh flair there as chrome perfectly reads that offensive joust able to cover that passing lane and reads it perfectly enough to get that play and a wide open goal he's going to take that one for that three and not even bother to miss the goal there as Zach tries to get the one over, maybe just hitting it, but a nice bounce is going to be able to get back in the hands of YouTube. YouTube going to be trying to send that one back across to Zach. Zach looking low to see if he can get that in the hands of Andy, but Grumpy playing Andy perfectly, but Andy going to get that from Grumpy, but game, or Voodoo, sorry, right on his tails. Yeah, really just suffocating right now on the defensive end as that one goes just off the backboard, trying to go for maybe one of those shots like we saw Spank pull off uh, for Instinct just moments ago in that last match. He had a few of those, but... Unable to convert, so back to the midline it will go. Interception. 
Thank gonna be able to retain possession here for his team and get this back pass going to Palace. Palace now gonna be looking to get even further back for YouTube. YouTube now with his couple options gonna decide to get that one just across to Palace. Palace now creeping up with Andy trying to creep up behind the goal. Zach gonna be looking to see if he can possibly get it towards him. Andy trying to get as many stuns as he can in the meantime. And Palace finally gonna be able to get that one to Andy. Andy's gonna dunk this one in on, on his own. And that is just the same as Flair with their passing. That is great passing from Infinite. Something that they have also been uh, really good with and even better with in the last few weeks, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, besides their two losses before the last Sunday, uh, they were otherwise on a really strong streak there. And I expect it to continue. I would not be surprised whatsoever to see this one go to three rounds. Uh, yeah, for sure. And you know, I think that's what we're all hoping for. Again, these good matches, that's exactly what you want to see. More match as Palace going to be able to get this one up as he uh, gets, gets that beautiful steal coming off that beautiful sneak. And the boost looking like they're going to come for infinite. Zach with oh. the shot, and he isn't going to miss. Going to get this game in within two points. Great shot from Zach. And I would be remiss to mention Zach and how online he is with his shots. Obviously, I, I think, suffice to say, he's one of the, the top offensive players in the game at the moment. I mean, he has a variety of shots, whether he has a clear line of sight or not. All he really needs is the angles. He can play, you know, close up and score at very high percentages. He uses his uh, spins, his athleticism, his craftiness. I mean, he has so many moves in his book and, uh, you know, that one may be one of the simplest shots he'll get all, all night, but just the same, still a nice one. And speaking yeah, of, hold on there, hold on there. <laughs> wow, game. <laughs> Gonna do exactly what we seen last game, but this time to the top trench. Great angle from game. Talking about those crafty bounce shots without line of sight. Game lining up that sight and saying that, hey, I can do it too, Pally, and he did. Him separating the score a little bit now is uh, Flair all of a sudden back up the five point lead as YouTube looks to get something created here. Uh, Palace. Great pass going all the way into the hands of Andy, but this quick boost from Flair is Andy's going to be able to get that one over to Zach. Zach now looking to get that one in. That's exactly what's going to happen. Great cross passing coming from Team Infinite. And W to W at that, and Zach getting rid of it just quick enough because there was a defender right on his, on his tail, ready for that grab or the stun, but just got it through in time. So it's a three-point match despite what feels like just sitting in our seats, it feels like oh, Flair should be up by a few goals and they should they have some momentum. But no, Infinite is right in there within three points and there's still a lot of time. But no, that one is going to be right on line. So 13 to 7 and Flair looking to build it here in the last few minutes and maybe pull away. Yeah, and speaking of people who can't miss tonight, game getting all the threes he wants is... He's just hasn't been off the mark at all, and I think that's one of the scary things about Flair. You see them come up, meet these teams that they've been beating, and game almost every time has just been one of the biggest sharpshooters here. Uh oh, is Voodoo now gonna go for his own, and he isn't gonna miss. Back to back to back threes coming up from Flair, and they're piling up some points. And that's what I was saying. Those when you get those like the two plays ago. When Game had made that open goal, relatively open goal, those are the threes, especially at this juncture of a game. They can be a little bit damaging. They, they can hurt you if you're on the other side. And it's those moments when you're kind of at risk of being, you know, snowballed a little bit. So uh, Infinite trying to avoid that as best they can. But here's another turnover caused by Flair. Unfortunately, couldn't wrangle the disc together. So YouTube will get it right back. Yeah, and YouTube just playing all of those angles perfectly. As you see them, maybe just hit the head of a player there. And now having a little bit of troubles here trying to get that coordinated to get it out. But you're going to see that go out and that stack's going to come out. But just going to be able to relieve a bit of the pressure there. Chrome now looking to recover. But Andy going to be right on his tail. Chrome going to be able to get that stun out. Chrome maybe going for a shot of his own. But it's just going to miss off and infinite. Maybe able to recover here. Grumpius looking for a cross pass. Sharp one to a Chrome just anchoring down on that island. And uh, they're in firm control now. Maybe just want to by their best possible opportunities. This is as good as any as they go for another, and they've gotten many of those uh, head-on passing plays to the front of the goal. And again, just great cross passing and great positioning from Flair. That is the one thing that Flair always has going for them. It's more or less their passing. Their, their positioning in this game is almost all but flawless. They almost always have an open pass, and you see it, they are going up to the side of that top block and finding that cross pass. And now one more could get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, maybe. Andy's gonna check. 
Okay, well, as a uh, as you can see, Andy is now out of commission, but still, Infinite's going to be on a mission here to come back and, and score if they can. Doesn't matter if it's three on four, they want more. Yeah, do you see that pass? Try to get to YouTube, but just out of the hands of YouTube there, he's, uh, he gets cleared out for the side of Flair, and Flair gonna go for a three again, but game! Gonna miss the easy one there as it was wide open go, not a lot of pressure there, but Voodoo gonna be able to recover that one. Send it back, but just missed out of the hands of Grumpy. Grumpy is gonna try to get this one back now, and a pass all the way down, sealing over in the hands of Chrome. Chrome gonna get that one up in the top, get it to game. Game's oh. gonna go down back to Chrome, and he's gonna dunk that one right in, as I'm sure we will see a restart coming out. So pull up, pull up the stats real quickly in the event that we do for you guys at home, but... Uh, none, none yet, it seems like. Maybe they're conceding, wa waving the white flag a little bit in this round with a minute left. Who knows? Uh, yeah, someone's launching. YouTube's launching. No one else, really, though. Either way, uh, yeah. Flair just looking in great position to take this away regardless as they do get a turnover or force a turnover here again. Just briefly, though, as Palace is still on the other end to get the disc. Yeah, looking like they might just be uh, holding on to... Kind of conserve some time here as Andy actually does get back into the game. As we, <laughs> Grumpy going to be able to try to take that one across with this stack from Infinite. Going to go straight down and they're going to be able to recover this. Palace now looking to get this one cleared out of his own zone. But into the hands of Game who is waiting there exactly for that moment. And Game going to jump up, get that one over to Voodoo. But stolen right away from the returning player, Andy. Andy's going to go for the shot, but Grumpy's going to be in the way of that. Not going to let that happen as he tries to get it cleared out of his own end. in a game victory coming out here for the side of Flair. And no matter what, that is secured here for the first round. That's going to be sent out. Here the good rounds coming out as that will be the victory. Flair just, uh, man, 20 points to seven. And again, one of those cases, I mean, not a surprise to see Flair win a game, but the differential may be a little bit surprising. That's that's a big amount of points to score on the likes of Infinite. Yeah, maybe those uh, this, that stacking of threes, that does a lot to you as a, as a team as you... Uh, we're down for, you know, just a goal, one second, then three back-to-back -back threes, and all of a sudden it's a way bigger margin. That's a huge task to come back to. Yeah, definitely. Uh, over in the chat real quick, see, do it to him, VR, says my screen is black. Uh, interestingly, I've only heard that once before, and that was from Grumpiest Broom, who's currently playing tonight over on Flare. But I heard he, he would have that problem a couple times on mobile specifically, so I don't know if that's a mobile issue or um, what, but... Stream should be good. If, if anyone else is having issues, though, let us know for sure. Did your monitor time out? <laughs> Can that happen? I guess so. Maybe. I don't know. Well, either way, we're uh, going to look at these stats real quick. It's Chrome Platypus. We've mentioned gaming game with six points, but man, Chrome is also just piling them on. Almost double that output with 11 for him, as well as an assist and a steal and eight stuns. For a game, again, it's six points, two assists, 20 stuns. Grumpy with uh, three saves, 12 stuns, and Voodoo with three points, two assists, and nine stuns. Meanwhile, for Infinite, the five points for Zach. And now we're going to go back to the start of round two. Yeah, seeing that stat line, maybe thinking back, possibly could have miscredited one of those goals. So I apologize to you, Chrome, if I happen to do that. But we are going to have that joust go into the side of Flare with Infinite able to recover. A fresh new game here coming from Infinite. Zach's going to be able to get that one cleared out. Boost going to come in from the bottom, but Grumpy able to reach for that one as he gets that slapped out. Now Game going to send this one down all the way on his own, but off the shield. Palace and YouTube going to be stacked here. Going to try to get that one over and into the hands of Zach. Zach's just going to put that one over to the other side. Back into the pocket now where Palace will take it. Uh, and yeah, you mentioned kind of a fresh slate here, and that's the kind of mentality certainly that Infinite wants to come into. New round, 0-0 zero zero on the board. This is one of those times where you do expect to see Infinite doing their usual stuff and, you know, backing it out, playing it patient, and having themselves a successful second round here. That's exactly what it looks like. It's going to happen as it gets into the hands of Zach. Zach going to be looking, oh, but a Zach. good save coming out from Grumpy as he tries to go Bifal. And Grumpy going to be able to get that clear going out. Um, and we see that boost coming in here in game, putting that one off the backboard, getting that two points to get them a nice early goal lead. And the tough thing about that for Infinite is the fact that they did everything, just about everything right. The passing, the resetting, the patience, they got the nice shot angle. It was a high percentage area. I think maybe the only place that went wrong, I suppose, was just uh, the shot, not as much strength behind it in terms of speed. So Grumpy with a great save. That's about the only thing. Otherwise, that was a seriously great rollout from Infinite. And now just trying to come back here 
with a, hopefully a goal, but Grumpy going to slap that out and trying to deny it once more. And maybe a little bit of misplay there coming from Andy and Zach, but Palace going to be able to recover that now. Zach going to be looking to spin around, and he's going to fool the goalie and get that one in the side. There you go. Now that's what they wanted. That, that was the result that they were chasing earlier on. This time, didn't even need a lot of uh, mustard behind it because they just rolled right into the goal. Head on, and, and Zach, from that kind of range, with those kind of, kinds of moves, is going to score much more often than not. And a slow rollout here coming, looks like, from the side of Flair. But they do make up for it, get that nice cross pass, and get that up all the way up the game. Game, though, going to put the jukes on, gets that one over to Chrome. Chrome's going to be able to send that one all the way over to Voodoo. Voodoo, though, right on by Zach. Zach now with Voodoo on him, but he's going to be able to get that one cleared all the way down to the other side. And you're going to see these boosts come out. Flair going to be the one to beat them. Yeah, with plenty of time to spare at that, so it looks like now Infinite just opting to uh, try and position out on defense. But as I say that, the goal just left wide open! Oh, that is a miscue there on that end because for a while, Infinite had players just kind of sit sitting in the midline. I thought the only reason they didn't get back on the uh, on the, the clear earlier was because they were resetting on defense, but uh, just left it open. Game again, not missing many of his shots as he's going to get that one put in right before the goalies can recover there. YouTube, though, now going to be able to take this one over on offense. And a nice pass going over to Andy, but just out of his hands by the bounce as he's going to be able to take that one and maybe miss right on pa where Palace was going as he bounces that one right off that block there. And I think this is, this is a pretty crucial time for uh, Infinite to start getting some points here. It's a... Uh, a lot of time left, but they really need to see some results. That one will be at least enough to buy them another chance to go on the disc on offense. There's an immediate stack, so that's very a nice one there from Andy and U2, but now getting all kinds of stun by all kinds of Flare players as it goes back into Flare's possession. And U2 with the big old five head over in the goal there as he gets that headbutt going, but Palace gonna be able to steal this one on his own. Palace looking to come down all the way by himself, but he's gonna try to get that cross pass, but great coverage coming from Voodoo. Oh. Is that Andy, once again, gets that order. Palace just out of the hands of Palace. Now game with the recovery, gonna look to get that one cleared out, just relieve all the pressure that was on them there. YouTube though, all the way back, gonna be able to recover that one quickly as that boost comes from Flair, gonna try to get that one cleared out. What a flurry that was over there on the, the other end. And it may just continue here as they pile on into the pocket taken by Andy and trying to drop it off into the tunnel to no one except Voodoo. Uh, Voodoo now getting that good boost and clear coming, but might be a shot just missed off. But Voodoo going to be able to take it on his own. Maybe a good old self pass going down there as he gets that dunk in to secure two points. 536 left. Again, I want to emphasize there's still time. But just... It's one of those occasions where, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll go to a little LeBron quote from like a season ago where he mentioned two points ain't two points, right? There's, there's a certain point where, you know, momentum heavily comes into play right there. Looking to sail in, maybe off a rebounded grab. It will be Chrome looking for it, but Palace, nice grab. Uh, just to finish my thought, though, sometimes, you know, those momentum building plays, it's worth a lot more than the two points that go on the board. Big boost coming from Infinite, just not able to get that stun or the steal off. As game now, gonna go for one of these angled shots, but not a lot gonna be happening there as it just hits off the uh, Pac-Man there. Palace gonna be able to send this one over himself. Andy comes over to get this boost, and they might beat them there, but a good steal coming from Chrome. It looks like Flare. Almost every time Infinite's able to get in their hands, there's a Flare player right there to disrupt some offense. Great man coverage coming from them as Andy's able to get this one in the mill. And I, yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm I'm someone who's maybe more biased sometimes towards great passing, but absolutely, I have to give full credit here on that defense from Flair because they have been as good as their passing has been today, and it's been incredible. Uh, their defense has been just suffocating. You see Palace move over there and just missing off the hands of Andy, but YouTube there to recover. Get that back to Palace. Palace hitting off the top post though. YouTube going to be trying to get that recovered himself, but Game's going to beat him there. Game's going to go for a bounce, see if he can get a teammate to recover it. But YouTube first man back as he's going to be looking to see if he can get a clear. And that's where it's going to go, but just going to miss that boost off with Zach. Zach going to be left all in his lonesome 1v1 against Game. Game's going to beat him, get that pass over to Chrome. And we'll have a little time to work with some of the stacks being interrupted, but now kind of going on their own accord, separating out for some passes, perhaps just missing for that one, so an interception from Andy. The immediate stack coming in here from some infinite players. 
getting some stuns off and just the same dishing it right back to them so stun for stun as game gets it right back and sends it on the uh the tunnel clear and nice boosting coming up from the w brothers there as they're able to get their passing going Andy now all the way in the back looking to see if he can get anything up as that boost comes in over into the hands of Zach. But Zach right away is going to get stunned by Grumpy. But into the hands of Palace as I tried to get that one out. But not going to lock it to happen. But a stun going off to Palace. You're going to be able to get that clear. But not a clean boost and not a clean clear as it hits a weird bounce there. Andy now going to go for one of those woe shots. But into the hands of YouTube. YouTube is going to send that one all the way down to Zach. But again, Chrome Platypus just clogging up that lane. YouTube though, able to get that to <laughs> Palace, but Grumpy coming in with the big save. Great defense coming out from Flair. Unbelievable defense. Again, when even Infinite's getting some good passing in, trying to get those shots, but then absolutely closed off. A good job by Zach on that defensive grab. But yeah, Flair, it's like even when Infinite feels like, okay, this is finally a good shot, what happens? You get a, a save by the goalie, Grumpiest Broom. So just giving no quarter whatsoever. Zach going for a shot himself, but just hitting a little bit off that bottom block there. Maybe recovered by Andy, but it's Chrome. Going to be able to get that one over to game. Game now. Look at that one cleared, but that's just going to hit off that middle block. And a good boost coming out here from Infinite as Palace and YouTube there are able to get that one all the way over into the hands of Andy now. Andy slowly going to bring that one up, get it over to his brother Zach. Zach's going to be looking for that shot, and he's just going to hit the post off that shot. A lot of opportunities here coming from Infinite, just not able to convert. And it's such a close game too, I think, you know, all Infinite uh, really needs at this point, just if they can get well-executed play. The defense is making it so hard, but there's a shot. Okay, right back to the three-point game, and that is still very, very good position for Infinite to make a comeback. There's a minute and 30-some uh, seconds left, so it's not out of the woods. They just need to hopefully take that as a, a calming, you know, chill pill, if you will, and 90 seconds to make one more three or two more twos. Yeah, I definitely think they just have to... Uh to calm down there. It looks like they're doing sporadic plays and um, they have to realize they're only down within one goal uh -oh. really now as Chrome though going to be able to get this one over to game and an open goal but Chrome not going to be able to handle that one uh, as it's now into the hands of Voodoo. A good good little slap across though but Palace can recover this as it gets in the hands of Chrome. Chrome going to be able to send that one up. Game just going to maybe a little bit of a mishandle. All mishandles coming for all players but Voodoo finally able to reset this one all the way back down to Grumpy. Grumpy going to be able to get this one over to Game. Game now looking but oh, off the head but no. into the hands of Chrome Platypus as he takes that dunk off the unself off, oh, I... off the what? What to call that? I do not know what to call it. <laughs> uh, off the thing into the thing and for the ring and it's a 9 to 4 advantage for Flair of what is possibly one of the most unlucky late game turnarounds you, you could imagine in this situation because Infinite was right in it uh, but now the window just closing ever the more with that shot and possibly a rebound for, to game he was going to be stunned but no it will be a sweep at this point going in the way of Flair. Flair coming out big again their three point shots maybe Infinite just not not getting that goal covered unfortunately enough there is and he's going to be able to send that one down. And of course, that's going to be the uh, the game right over there. Is no matter what happens here, no one can uh, go ahead and get this comeback going. Yeah, and so with that, that does end it. And that is tough. Uh, almost a late game comeback by Infinite. But Flair, again, the absolute suffocation on defense. There's nothing more to say than that. Their passing was crisp as ever. Crisp B. But the defense... Uh, just gave them no quarter. Every time that Infinite went for their plays, they just couldn't uh, find much to work with. And even when they did get close to the goal, the, the shots were saved. So uh, what do you do in those situations? It's just so tough. Yeah. And again, the opportunities were there presented for the side of Infinite. Uh, just unfortunately not able to convert on a lot of them. You heard a, a lot of dings going on and a lot of good saves. And again, just great almost man coverage coming out from the side of Flair. Um, Flair really coming out strong with their defense. And, of course, again, their passing and positioning on offense was almost pitcher perfect. Yeah, and I want to say, too, because I, so I wasn't casting the game they did against Illuminati. I did watch I did watch it. I know they rained in a ton of threes uh, to complete that game. That's one thing to do that. And I know they had some their share of threes tonight. But this has to be one of Flair's, in my opinion, more impressive, if not most impressive, victories so far. Uh, just because, one, there's the expectation already knowing that this is a team who has upset some of the top teams prior. And, one second, let me. 
just back out so we're not interrupted by that too much. But but it's one thing to come in there and, and upset some teams for a week. It's another thing to come in here against a team who's otherwise been hot for weeks um, and just execute with all that expectation, not only offensively, but defensively. They were on point on both ends, and that's why I say, you know, this is a situation where you could come in prepared against Flair, knowing what they're capable of and seeing these recent games, and yet they still came on and piled on a ton of points over what is one of the most stifling defenses you can go up against, not to mention offenses uh, in general with infinite. So to me, that is Flair's more, more impressive or more, maybe most impressive victory so far. So congrats to them on it, and they will indeed improve their record now to 8-5. and five. Again, Flair really... Really, again, all what we keep talking about over here is how close the competition is. How if you have one top team not really showing up for maybe a couple weeks, how any of these teams underneath them are going to be more than happy to come up and start taking their place as uh, solidifying themselves in the team. And a uh, Flair uh, really looking to be a competitor trying to steep up into these uh, really great teams. Not that they're, again, not saying they're not one of these top teams. They're certainly proving everyone that they belong up as a top team in conversation now um so more than congratulations again going towards them yeah for sure i was kind of men mentioned a similar similar thing there when they faced joker last sunday and the fact that at, at some point they get enough wins against these top teams they're no longer the the underdog they're no longer the upsetting team uh they're just a top team and i feel like now having strong solid wins i mean a, so a strong win against the Illuminati, a very tight win against King Gorillas, and then another pretty strong win here uh, against Infinite. I mean, that's you're talking three of the top teams in the world right now, and Flair just handled them all. You know, handled their business and got it done. So, with that in mind, uh, Flair, I think now more than ever, as we approach this halfway point and go past this halfway point of season one, they're uh, definitely establishing themselves as just another top team. No longer the upset kings. They're just Flair. <laughs> and see what uh, weeks to come has to offer from Flair, but not just Flair, but all these other great teams as everyone uh, looking to improve their spot. Uh, yeah. And so we'll pull up the the schedule really quick here. That does conclude our game for tonight. Our games, uh, not to mention game over on Flair had himself a game. But regardless, uh, yeah, that that will be it for right now. We also had another game being casted. Well, not cast, sorry, not being casted, but at the same time as this cast between Spaghetti and Legends. Kind of sad I missed that one. I was looking forward to both of these matches, uh, but unfortunately, just couldn't couldn't do two at once tonight, so hey. But nonetheless, uh, that game going on now, and that will be it for tonight. Tomorrow morning, we have the debut, maybe, of Team Gecko against Wasted Potential. I think Wasted Potential actually disbanding, however, so perhaps we'll have to wait until the afternoon game between Team Gecko and Fusion. But either way, Team Gecko making their debut. Uh, we have Vibers and Paradox. Paradox is another new uh, European team that debuted last week. So both of those teams, some of the ones I was talking about earlier in the week and earlier in the streams, about all these new players joining up uh, lately. And, well, there's two of them tomorrow, so it'll be good to see that. And then several North American games there between Guinness and Galaxy, Orbit and Instinct, Adrenaline and Spaghetti, and then Galaxy and Space Force. And barring any other late scheduled games, uh, that'll be it for the Saturday until our uh, jam-packed Sunday afternoon and evening. And again, uh, uh, I believe it'll be the uh, start for Team Adrenaline. I don't believe they've actually played a game yet this season, if I'm correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Adrenaline also making their debut the, for the North American side. There's a there's a few of those teams, as I said. It's, it's been great to see. You know, Adrenaline is uh, one of them. Uh, Invictus, I want to say, did make their debut this week. I'm pretty sure it was this yes. week. Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah, and Olympus made their debut last week. So lots lots of new teams all around across the league. But, 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 that being said, that is, shout out Sputnik. With that being said, that is our matches. Those are our matches for the evening. Uh, appreciate everyone for joining us over in the Twitch chat, on the streams, on the VODs, and so on and so forth. And, of course, Caption for doing a great job casting here right beside me. Been fun. Ayo. All right. I'd like to talk more, but my throat is a little bit under the weather now. Uh oh. Um, washed your hands. I don't think that works if you're already sick. Uh oh. Well, 
Well wishes the caption in that case, and to everyone else. I guess on that note, I've been Palador. That's been Caption. This has been VR Master League. Wash your hands, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Good night!